Hey guys, what the hell's going on? I got more. This is gonna be a quickie. All right. You can see I'm down here. Do do do. We got a lot of empty space today, so I bring myself up here. This is just a quick one. All right, because um, you have to remember that this is we just are talking about Jesus. What comes out of Jesus's mouth? And Jesus' mouth told us that you're following Father's word. You're not following my word, my sayings. And here's one of Jesus' sayings. It's right here in the Wikipedia comment, right? Or whatever. Whoever does this part. Oh, anyways, it says, Jesus, Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love thy Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and a great commandment. First and great commandment. Right? But the second, the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. All right. So anyways, on these two commands hang all the law and, and the prophets. Okay, now, <clears throat> you guys. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God. All right. I'll look on here and it says, It does not say Father. Okay. The Lord thy God with all of thy heart. We know that it takes this, this heart. This heart is our emotions, the second stage of this here. All right. The second kingdom of ours. And with our soul, this is our innards. This is our soul. It's both. And, you know, and this idea, and all thy mind, this is the part that you're missing, all right? And you're actually missing that soul, too. You know, you could say, oh, yeah, I've got my soul, but what are you doing with it? Yeah, I got it. It's just inside of me. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I've got it imprisoned in me. I have it, I have it being crushed in a situation where he's in the grave. That's where I've got him. I've got him. What are you going to do with him? What are you doing? You're wasting away with this seed inside of you that's also getting spoiled. But anyways, this is the idea. You got to love him with your soul. Oh, yeah, I'm loving with my soul. Well, are you going to set it free? You know, that's what he says, set my people free. Are you going to break bread like Jesus, the sayings, you know, you got to break bread and then drink some wine. This is what they want you to do. This is the stories. All right. With all thy mind. And you ain't got a whole mind. We've come down with just father. We need mother. So this is the our whole idea. You gotta love the Lord thy God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, and with all of your mind. This is what you have to do. This this is a commandment. This is just like honoring mother and father. That's what that that's what it means. And why is it likened to it? Because it says here on the bottom, it says your neighbor like yourself. Your neighbor, your neighbor is your soul. Not your neighbor next door, you know, or thinking it, but as a nation, it's not like, you know, Cuba or anything like that. No, it's you. It's your, you, your brother. This is another name for the seed. The other name for the soul. The kid that sits outside the tent. Oh my God, you guys. But anyways, um, this is what he wants you to do. And so that this is, it says, it doesn't cancel out all of the commandments that you got from the first commandment because all of those are talking about honor and mother and father. Don't steal, don't take, because in the situation when you're, when your mind, when you're taken from the, the, uh, the lower, that's like a, the, a type of theft, you know, you, you have your own, but you have decided to take from somewhere else. You're deciding to take it from someplace else. When you have your own comforter, you're deciding to go somewhere else, to the strange woman, to the whore, to the a street whore, to religion, to go and get your comings up and you know, and men are then drawn, you know, magically. They lust after men now, you know, which is a symbolism as the lower mind is just so attached to religion. I mean, it just can't get enough of it. It just loves the drama of it all. It just, yes, the drama of it all. Yeah. 
Well, anyways, when you get all caught up in it, that's the snare and stuff like that. What do we not have on here this very first thing? Remember, we just come down with Father. If we only have the carnal mind running our world, the lower mind, and we have not and we have not circumcised ourselves from this yet, male or female, while you're in this situation, you do not carry a child in you because you and in, in religion, your, low, your male mind and the male religion side cannot birth this child, all right? It's begotten, it's not made, doesn't have anything to do with your womb, doesn't have anything to do with the penis. These are negative and positive energies about our inner workings and what we don't see and can't see and will never see, basically. But anyways, uh, this idea is that thou love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Well, you don't have the soul. You don't have the soul, and you don't have uh, the whole mind either, because we you don't have mother. You still have the bitch in there, all right? And she's a thief. And while she's in that situation, you ain't got God, no matter how hard you try. You're not going to find him on the outside world. The Bible is very clear on this. The chosen ones are going to follow God's laws. It's gonna, Jesus says, you're going to follow my sayings. You're going to obey what I tell you. And then you're going to come and follow like I told you. Turn into this little child. Come find me. And I'll bring you all kinds of good things. And I'll take hell away from you for the rest of your life. Is that always, is, I mean, is that so hard to understand? You know, God telling you to take, set, set my people free. You know, anybody that can do this, if you can set them free, you know, I'll preach, make sure that I reward them. It's the same idea. It's so beautiful. All right, well, go get your God on, you guys. You know, I'm, I'm not making fun of you or nothing like that. I was in your place. And, you know, uh, I'm never going to be in there again, you know. But I'm a good mind. I'm handing it, giving you a hand, you know. We really shouldn't make fun of people that are in hell. This is our job, you know. But when we get over onto this other side, you just can't help it, you know. But see, you know, the, the poor ignorance that God has unleashed on the world to some of the most smartest people on earth, you know. Oh, you would say it was really smart, you know. But then all of a sudden, you know, they start talking God and getting it all wrong and and still believing so much in it you know you can just see you know you can see them it's just you know just just a mess just a mess all right but not us you guys you know once you're out of the folly you know all you can do is sit back and eat popcorn right that's what we're discovering all right i'll see you later hope you guys are well hope you got something out of this